What's up? It's Evan from VVTV out here at Warp Tour, this time with Sing It Loud. What's what going up? on, everybody? What's good? What's up, guys? All right, so we last talked to you in October. What has been going on with you since then? Well, we um, have been doing a lot of things. After that, we finished. That was on the uh, Sassy Back Tour with Cobra Starship. Yeah. We finished that. Uh, spent just a little bit of time at home. And then we went out with a band called Ludo in this Providence. Oh, yeah. And then we went to, uh, we did a headlining tour called the Guys, Guys, Guys Tour. Then we went to Europe. And then we were home for a couple weeks, and now we're here on Warp Tour. So, nice. Working the whole time. All right. Uh, do you have a new album in the works? Uh, actually, we're going to go record our next record after Warp Tour. Yeah? Yes. Yep. How long are you on Warp Tour? Uh, the whole thing. The whole, whole thing. shebang. And this is your first time? First one. Definitely. All right. We're already exhausted. Yeah, day two. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. So you think, you think you're going to make it the two months? Hell yeah. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. Like All yeah. the kids are like fucking phenomenal uh -huh. and just like everyone's been awesome. It's so a far. badass time. <laughs> Absolutely. What are you looking forward to the most? I, I personally like there's so many bands on this tour that I'm such a fan of. Like, oh yeah. Yesterday I got to interview Thrice for Buzznet. Uh huh. Freaked out. And then um, I watched Under Oath today. Yeah. And it was nuts. Yeah, we found a scraggler. Yeah. What's up? What's up, hey, what's dude? Up? That's making a hot pocket. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> the line for catering is too long. Yeah. I know Nate's waiting in it for us right now. Oh, is he? Yeah. What a guy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what are we excited about? What are you excited about for Warp Tour? I am excited to bro down with all my friends. Bro down? Yeah. Right. We have a lot of friends on Warp Tour this year. I think that's what yeah. you just said. Yeah, yeah. So well, yeah. I was excited to see. And people. hopefully watching our crowds get bigger and bigger and playing. Like oh, playing's yeah. always a great time for all of us. So, uh, are you sharing a bus with anyone on this tour? We are. Yeah, we're showing. I set my friends on fire. Oh, they're nice. another yeah, band yeah. on Epitaph, the label we're on, mm -hmm. um, and they're really cool. awesome. We've known them for a oh, while. Yeah, we, we've talked um, to them quite a bit. So yeah. they're cool. They're cool. Yeah. Cool oh, guys. Yeah. Cool guys. We yeah. love them. What would you say is the most awkward thing that's happened to you while performing? Let's go down the line. I uh, fell in front of 1,200 people in Detroit yeah. and knocked over my mic stand and landed on my back. Oh. That was really awkward. Uh, I don't know what about you. I used to puke a lot while playing. And that was like really embarrassing. Yeah. But kids loved it for some weird reason. I don't know. I this one time in Seattle, like it was really weird. It's like walking around my keyboard and like hit mm -hmm. the side of it, <laughs> and it flew up in the air and like flipped, and I like, kind of caught it, but like yeah. hit a weird yeah. note, and it was it was really embarrassing. Yeah. Now, how many keyboards do you use? Two. Though. Two. Five. Yeah. Five. I've seen bands that use five. <laughs> yeah. Like shiny toy guns or something. The guy has. Four set up in a, That's in a square and you just turn around. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. So what would you guys say is your favorite song to perform live? Um, for me, it's probably a song called Best Beating Heart. We open with it and oh, it's yeah. kind of like, a, I don't know, kind of gets us going, gets me pumped up. It's cool. Mm -hmm. My new favorite song, like my favorite song has changed and uh, yeah. it used to be uh, Marionettes, mm -hmm. but now it's uh, Bite Your Lip, which is an older song that we yeah. wrote. I'd say my favorite uh, is Best Beating Heart just because it's what we open with on this tour. It's yeah. a lot of like high energy, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and there's like a part at the end where we just like rock out and it's really fun. And then I also, I've been really enjoying playing No One Can Touch Us a lot more lately than I have. Yeah. Because a lot of people know about the song and like know the lyrics and stuff, so it's cool to have like the audience like sing it back really loud and stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, cool. So, yeah. Definitely. What artists do you guys idolize? Uh, we all have a lot. Um, for me, I really idolize uh, John Mayer, mm -hmm. um, Isley, Kanye. Um, those are big ones for me, and like uh, Jimmy Eat World. I idolize Garth Brooks and Lil Wayne. Yeah. Uh, Garth Brooks is like, well, they're both very successful, and they're also like very business oriented with what's going on uh -huh. with their with their lives, pretty much. I think I'd it'd be interesting that. if they did a song together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be <laughs> sick. I think um, my biggest influences are like Taking Back Sunday, Jimmy Eat World in the early November. You know the song If I Had a Million Dollars? Yes. Yes, I do. All right, fill in the blank. If I Had a Million Dollars. If I Had a Million Dollars, I would buy that bridge right there, the Bay Bridge. Really? We had someone else say that. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And I'd, ha I'd host like, I'd close it down and host like massive parties and it'd be badass. Party on a bridge. Yeah, that's yeah. a great idea. It, look, it's a double-decker bridge too. Yeah, so I mean, all the lame kids, if they wanted to come to the party, I'd still let them hang out and they'd hang out on the bottom deck. Yeah. And the cool kids will be on top with me and Sick Boy. Sorry, Pat. It's okay. all good. I can handle the bottom. <laughs> 
I would buy every single person in the world a box of Stouffer's mac and cheese. I'd buy him two boxes of it though. Um, I'd probably buy like a two to three hundred thousand dollar house and just pay for it all. Yeah. And then I'd just have big ass parties all the time for my <laughs> friends. <laughs> and we'd all be eating our mac and cheese. And oh yeah. Like, Needless yeah, to good. say, if any of us had a million dollars, it'd be gone really, really quickly. Yeah. yeah. We need to take classes on how to manage our money. Yeah, we're really bad at that. No. <laughs> what 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 do you waste most of your money on? For me, it's clothes. Clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Clothes. Clothes. Fast food. Fast food. Yep. Food in general. It doesn't look like it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you'd be surprised, man. I I spend a lot of. I probably he probably eats more than I do. I probably spend like 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 on tour. I probably spend like three hundred dollars a month on fast food alone. Wow. Easy. Okay. And I get paid not very much more than that a month, <laughs> so like, my money goes really fast. <laughs> All right, so, well, thank you guys very much. It's great you, getting man. to talk Thanks with you man. again. Thank you, man. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. What's up, everyone? I'm Pat. I'm Chris. I'm Ben. And we We're play in a band called Sing, Sing It Loud. Loud and BVTV Rocks. I'm all tied up.